Hello and welcome back. It's Double Old Debbie, and this is episode 55 of my Dire Wolf 20 1.18 Let's Play. We're down here in the mines today. I had something I wanted to show you, and I found this quite some time ago, but I kept forgetting to show you. And, and this is on the iron level. Um, I found this little lush cave. It's very small, <laughs> but I wanted to mine all this stuff up. But I wanted to, you know, show you before I just did it. So <laughs> that's why I haven't done it yet. It's just really, really small. It just comes back here and just then circles around and dead ends. And there's a couple of orberry bushes. The first very bushes I have seen and there's <laughs> um, I also found this huge Ockram deposit and Ockram can be used for several things but um, it can be used as building blocks or you use create it there's like a 25% chance you can turn this into a gold nugget by using the crushing and create a 20% chance, sorry, 20% chance to get a crushed gold ore or and a gold nugget. So that's pretty cool, but you can use it in stone cutting to make a whole bunch of different blocks. And I thought, you know, <laughs> if there was so much of it there, then it might be kind of cool just to have another variation of blocks to build with. So I gathered up a whole bunch. Check it out. There's so much more left. <laughs> There's so much more of this stuff left over there. Is it? I will mine all this stuff up off camera and, and see about getting it. Also, I found lots of iron and gold in there with it. Um, so yeah, there's tons of stuff and there's it's, it's just a massive deposit. Uh, I'll definitely come back down here and visit that again. I might need to place these in here if there's room. Yeah, I got a couple slots left. I also got, what was it? Gripstone block. There is some gripstone in there too. I figured I could go ahead and get that um, because if I need to, I can turn that into clay. But let's get back up to the surface. Um, what the? I just updated my pack. And my bag is empty. Oh man. Okay, okay. It was just a glitch. It was just a glitch. Okay, I just had a heart attack. <laughs> it was, it's not really a lot in there. It's just the, the most useful items I find I stick in there. Uh, but I was just down here mining and came across some cool stuff and wanted to share it with you. Uh, but I, it's been a while since I recorded. I've been trying to, what, did I go too far? Uh, I think I did. It's hard to, uh, where to turn down here and all it's like just a giant tunnel um i think it was is it here no i know i lost oh, look how fast i can get going with these things Oh man, 
What is going on? Okay, this is where I get the cave. It's gotta be back here somewhere. But I hit a dead end. Okay, the the globes are on the left. So that means once they stop being on the left, you'll be able to turn. Oh my goodness, ludicrous speed. Oh, I know why. That's because this is somehow managed to get an aisle over. Don't confuse me. Because I did the thing. Okay, the reason why I went in there was to get my travel staff. Awesome. I have many things to show you. <laughs> many things. Awesome. It's daylight. Um, I want to see like how much iron and stuff. I've been mining quite a bit because my quarry ran out and I wanted to do something before I moved the quarry. So, 110. I thought I got more gold than that, but it's the copper that I got. So, I think I want to save the copper. I don't know. Let's just dump it in. And come down here and check out the booty. Oh, it's still got iron and gold from the last mining trip I went for so yeah it's still processing everything up which means I might need to I need to upgrade this bit uh, with the next here get uh, components to speed this up a little bit because I've got so much uh Got so much in with the auxiliary processing seeds that I can't really speed this up otherwise. So, haha. <laughs> um, yeah, I, as you can see, I went out here and I retrieved the mine, uh, the, the mice, um, the builder. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I have it back at base, safe and sound, ready and waiting with a new uh, a new upgrade. <laughs> so instead of like just wandering all over the world trying to find a good spot so that I don't tear my world up, um, it's something that I used to use all the time, but then I kind of got out of the hat because I started playing a lot of Skyblock worlds where it wasn't really necessary to have, uh, but there's a mining dimension. So there's just eight obsidian and a diamond pickaxe. So I want to make this world, uh, the mining portal, and set it up in there. And I also have like ender chest, the builder, this doodad and I have I went ahead and made the next the second dimensional cell that I needed for all that and here are like the old dimensional cells um, so I will find something to do with those uh, but now that we have these dimensional cells we have the capability of transferring a lot more power uh, than we currently have so I can I need to get those power cables updated too because in order for me to make use of more power I'm gonna need better cables because these can only uh, transfer 256 a tick and these are producing 
80 each uh, when they're doing stuff. It can produce 80 each, um, which makes it 240. So if I upgrade these any further, we're going to need more, <laughs> more better cables and such. Um, I haven't been out to check on our little uh, lava pump, see how it's doing. Um, but yeah, we got tons of stuff. Look, I actually have a surplus of gold. It's not that much, but there is a stack up here. And I have, you know, over three stacks waiting to be processed over here. So that's pretty cool. Um, I have been trying so hard to not record an episode so that I could get my backlog cleared uh, so that I can just record one episode every day and be able to interact with you, you guys, a lot more. Uh, so I was thinking that I could, on the days like when I'm off and I can play a lot more, I was thinking about maybe streaming some instead of recording a bunch of episodes. Also. I made an energetic infuser. I accidentally hit the combined thing, and this is our old charging station. So we need to go ahead and put that down because my uh, my mining gadget is in dire need of getting charged. Wow, you can charge multiple items in there. I don't remember that being a thing. Um, this should at least, you know, use up some of our power. So yeah, let me show you while that's charging and we got all our doodads here. I have uh, this, I plan on setting this up in the mining dimension. It shouldn't be anything. I mean, it's just place the builder, put the inner chest on, slap on a lever and some dimensional cells and and you're good to go and I gotta link these guys up. I don't know if these can be cleared. It doesn't look like it, uh, but maybe sticking it in the new dimensional cell will reconnect it. So hopefully I don't have to make more cards. Uh, that, would, that would be kind of bad. Uh, but there are a few things that were brought to my attention. Okay, now we got this. I need to make this environmental eye and this elementopedia for elemental craft, but I haven't, in order to make this, you have to have an inert crystal and I have yet to find an inert crystal. Uh, it's, I guess, just a spawn in the world somewhere. Uh, deep slate inert crystal ore. Or an impure inert crystal or chunk. I have no idea what this means. Uh, uh, but I need to get this environmental eye, which is just um, a ritual of the forest with a couple leaves, a gold ingot, and a spider eye. And we should be able to, to do that no problem. This will help us uh, keep an eye on. <laughs> Keep an eye on our aura when we're working with nature's aura. Mod. Where's my spider eye? That's why we have spider eye. And a gold ingot. And I got all of the uh, nature's aura stuff over here. I really need to pull those chests out, put them closer to where I need them, and a couple of you, one of you, and some of you too. I think that's, that's all I need for this. There is another thing I need to make from nature's aura called the ancient sapling, and I need this for two reasons. <laughs> for one, uh, Jake made a comment about how this can have a 
positive effect on aura and as well as being a purple blockish block that could help me finish my wizard tower and I need it to in order to do another project I'm working on uh, with auto crafting with nature's aura because uh, I got I got a big project going on and I need that to finish it off uh, so I want to do that it's kind of like uh, an altar like these only it's made specifically for auto crafting it's like a multi-block structure is what I mean so yeah um let's see about I got spider eye Gold. We got you and you. Oh, I forgot. God, I needed the 16 powder. Hopefully, I have enough stuff. If not, I got those two trees still sitting over there uh, that have all the gold leaves ready for us. <laughs> oh, but I got enough. I got enough. Um, uh, there's so much I need to do. Okay, let's get this this one thing going um, for sure. Oh, wait until you guys see what I got going on. It's it's so cool. A lot of moving. It down. Oh, there we go. This will get our eye. I wonder if it goes in the same slot as my monocle from the canyon. <laughs> Suddenly, I see it goes in a charm slot and it just Another thing I need to make is the spell focus of something, which would be really cool. So, yep, I think that's the charm slot. So, this, look at that. Oh, I turned the mini map off because there are certain things that I need to see that it covers up. But look, there's a little aura around and a little bar over there. It's cool. Look how low it is over here. So I've been sucking it up. Um, I remember when I first got over here and looked at how this is going up. It's because all the vegetation and stuff around. When I got over here, ha, this is it. There's, uh, this is like a spot, I believe, for aura, and it's producing tons of it. Um, so I don't know, I need to do something with that. Um, plus I could probably, I don't know if there's anything I can do about rebalancing the aura over here other than making those trees. I don't know that these are actually helping because I place these in places where they spawn naturally in the world. That's uh, an indication of how well the aura is doing. I, I think that's how I read it. Um, let's put our little charm up here. Um, let's remember it. All right, that's good. Uh, but I would definitely like to get uh, this ancient sapling made so I can grow those like off camera to collect some wood <clears throat> um, and whatnot. Also, uh, I have so many ideas. I don't know where to start. Um, we did the energetic infuser. So. Oh no, <laughs> it's, it's I'm so distracted. go let's go sleep and then um, I 
want to show you my projects. I've got two of them going on that I want to show you. Three, if I can count this. Um, <laughs> I, oh my goodness, I feel so overwhelmed by, by things that I want to do. We need to get the stuff for the ancient sadly and get that made. Um, so we need a sapling. We need two oak saplings. Two oak saplings. I don't have sugar cane over here. I do have some over there though. Uh, a seed and a um, this I think is specifically a yellow flower and a red flower. Because they're not like cycling through anything and it doesn't say any Minecraft flowers down there at the bottom. And this has to be a wheat seed too, I guess. Okay, well I got all, I should have all of those things over there. I just need to grab one more leaf. Shoot. Okay, so let's go get a sugar cane, a wheat seed, and a red and yellow flower. I think that's all we need. Um, sugar cane, a wheat seed. Oh, look at all those oak saplings I got there. A red and a yellow flower. Boy, I don't have Okay, so let's go do this real quick, and then I'll go show you my projects that I've been working on. Technically, I got three if you count this little area over here. Oh. Okay, so got an oak sapling, got a wheat seed, gold leaf, sugar cane. I hope this doesn't have to be in any order. You gotta do some more booping. Aha. Now we need this. What? It tripped me. It looks like it's working, so it doesn't appear like it needs to be in any order. Well, hi, yeah. Oh, and we got two. I forgot about that. So that is pretty cool. We got our ancient saplings. It's ah. All right. Let's go take a look. This is so exciting. I'm so happy to be able to show you guys this. I've been, I've been holding it in for so long. Yes, I could have done this. Oops. I need to go down a little bit further because it's down there at the amethyst golf. I have set up. Haha, <laughs> check it out. Where's my amethyst golf? Oh, he's all the way over here. What are you doing over here? You're getting in the way. I'm stuck on the. Okay, okay, he. I got three little star bubbles down here. Um, I thought I only had two. You. I don't remember putting the third one down. But anyway, what I got going on is we got our golem and he's getting us tons of amethyst. And I have a star buncle. This is probably this guy right here. You can see that he's storing items at six locations. Let me, uh, let me oh, I does not work. E works. Let's take this off for a second so I can, oh, it's, it's still there. Do I have to like put it 
away. Aha, okay. Now, if you look at him, you can see he's storing items in six locations and taking items from one location, and his preferred pathing is on polished cut calcite, which I have here. And so I was having some issues with uh, the golem was lacking to stand like right here and do all the stuff and things, and then the starbuckle would try to walk by him and somehow get stuck on top of him. <laughs> so I wanted to push him like back here where the golem wasn't. It's now being annoying and trying to stay on it. But what he does is he takes shards uh, or the amethyst crystals out of this chest and he takes them over here and puts them into these improvement chambers. <laughs> and this little guy takes the source gems out and puts them in this chest. So we have a steady income of source gems now. Uh, so we don't have to really do anything. They just create them all on their own. And then I have, oh yeah, that's right. The third guy, this guy over here, is taking items from this chest and putting them in this chest, which this chest is going to feed my auto constructor. And if you look at this, um, well, I think I need to look at it in the book to show you what I'm talking about. Where is my nature's little book? Right here. And if we go to create, no, it's not creating for it's harnessing for no. Is it mechanical devices? Yes, mechanical devices, the automatic constructor. And this just tells uh, you how you can make the automatic automatic constructor to autocraft. You have to make the structure, which the automatic constructor is placed in the center. The facing of the arrow indicates the top of the recipe as if pointing to the upper row of slots in the crafting table. The required ingredients then have to be dropped on the ancient logs in their normal configuration. Once in place, after a couple of seconds, the resulting item will drop out of the bottom of the automatic constructor. Uh -oh. So, this is going to be challenging to set this up because it is quite big. Pick it to clear. All right, let's look. Oh. Put it down. Let me go down. Uh, I guess it wants it wants to be placed on top of the block. I have to break a block in order to place it down. Uh, but you can see how big this is. I might have to increase this room. Well, it looks like it will just fit. Maybe. So I might need to increase this room over here to get this to work. Clear this off. Uh, but that's what I have planned. I needed those ancient trees in order because in order to make the structure, well, this takes the ancient planks, but the structure itself takes ancient planks as well. So in the future, we will be setting this up, and I'm, I'm so excited to get that done. Okay. There's one more thing uh -oh. that I have. Go, guys! Here they go. They're running. They're racing. If this one gets there first, he's gonna grab them all. See, this little guy got stuck on the golem. I wish there was a way. Uh, maybe if I use the dominion wand on him. What were they doing? Uh, if I click on the chest first, I think 
it will set this position as home. Home set. Go home. Go home. Please, please get off the path. Anyway, okay, I will I will mess around with him for camera. Try to get him to cooperate. I need more room over here. Okay, so that's the plans that I have for this guy. I have to like expand over there my next project is it's pretty cool check it out i have uh, created a magical means of creating sand <laughs> i made a spell through it which i haven't done before i wanted to do it on camera but this was really really calling me to do it <laughs> And I had to do a couple of things in order to make this work. I had to make this glyph of place block. I had to make a glyph of crush. I had to make a glyph of delay. So we got that down. Um, yeah, and like I know I have nodes in here, but I'm running out of Starbungle charms. I only have so many shards. I have one left and I would need at least two for this. One for here. One to take it over to here. Take the sand over to here because I want to turn the sand into clay because I need clay for various things. And, and I wanted to set up a way to turn the sand into clay. Uh, now this, this is pretty cool. These are timer spell turrets. They're not just the basic ones. The basic ones, um, you can't like basically turn off. I mean, you can, it, I think it takes a redstone signal to operate, so you would have to create a timer, but this sort of has the timer built in, and you can use a lever to turn it off and on. So that's pretty cool. If I flip this switch, it will start using up the uh, source to create gravel. Mm -hmm. Or just more flint. Oh, this is immediately getting sucked out and stored over here via the nodes. Um, now I am going to have to possibly use some type of extender or to get the the sand all the way over to this. This is where I want my chest, um, the input chest, and it's going to get taken out pushed over here and this is going to be a fan with water around it with, well, with water in front of it and it's going to blow water onto the sand creating clay and then that will get picked up and carried away <laughs> or this sword um that's the plan uh, i wanted to use create to do this because, um, I mean, I could do this with Botania. I know I can do this with Botania because Botania has a flower called the Claysonia that turns sand into clay. It just takes mana. Um, I just didn't, I don't know. I, I really want to do the create. I feel like out of the tech mods that create is more I don't know but I, it's more magical to me <laughs> it's uh, just the act of creating a system that is like a hundred percent tailor-made to your needs to me that is magical uh, so yeah uh, 
but I plan to do this with a sort of, uh, it's a fan blowing on top of a magma block, which creates rotational force. Um, and then I can feed that into another fan to operate this fan to blow across the water and then have like some conveyor belts to pull items off out of the chest and pull, pull them over here so that the fan can do its thing. <laughs> um, I'm hoping I can accomplish this, but I have to get into create in order to do this. I just don't know how far I need to go in order to accomplish what I need. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and like just turn this little guy off. Well, look, in that little bit of time, you got 42 gravel, which is pretty cool. Um, and you can see up here the casting on it. It's got touch. Um, the touch is free with the turret, uh, but I think I have to put it in the spell in order for it to not be like projectile because it can be projectile or touch. So I just specify touch. Uh, and then crush, which converts the cobble into gravel. And then since it doesn't actually put the gravel into an item form, it's still in block form, I had to break it. And I didn't want it to just immediately go crush break in case there's some glitch and it goes too fast and then breaks the block behind it instead. So I put a delay in there. Um, and this one is much the same, only it has to take the block from the chest here uh, place it down, and there's a delay, and then it crushes it, then there's a delay, and then it breaks it, and it works. It works like a champ. I didn't have to twiddle with it or <laughs> anything, so yeah, I was really happy about that. Um, I, like I said, I could do Botania, but I, I just thought feeling like the mana regen part of Botania. Like I know how I can do it. I've just been, I don't know, I've been frumpy with Botania ever since they took away the passive flowers uh, and made them decay. It just really, it really hit me, really hit me sad. I liked my big beautiful uh, lots of flower generator thing with bobbers. Uh, it was really fun to build them and fun to make them look good <laughs> while doing it. Uh, anyway, this is what I have planned for this. I want to get into create and uh, so in the next episode we'll probably be working on this or that one. Uh, depending on you know, what I can do and what I can get done. But I have been carrying this on for so long. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And <laughs> thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.